Hello. In this tutorial, you're going to learn how the merge sort breaks down a list into smaller and smaller sublists and then reassembles them back into a large list in a sorted order. Merge sort breaks a list up into smaller lists, then merges the list back together in order. Merge sorts are typically written recursively, but can be written iteratively. For more information on recursion, please click on the link in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Merge sorts are fast, but require a large amount of memory. For very large lists, it may be impractical to use a merge sort because of the memory requirements. So we're starting with a list. This list is unordered, and we've got it in one list. So we're going to start by breaking it down. We're going to cut it in half into two lists. Next, we're going to break each of these lists in half again. Finally, these two lists, which are not at size 1, are going to be broken in half again. Now we have six lists of size 1. Any list of size 1 is automatically sorted. So now we can start merging them back together in the proper order. So what we're going to do is we're going to compare the first element in these two lists and see which one is smaller. In this case, it's a 7, so we're going to move the 7 into this larger list. And then all we have left is the 9, so we're going to move that into the larger list. Now we're going to go over here and we're going to merge these two lists into a larger list. We'll start with the 4 because that's smaller than the 5. And then all we've got left is the 5. These two lists of size 1 we can't merge yet. Now we're going to merge these two lists into a larger list and these two lists into a larger list. We'll start at the beginning of these two lists. We'll compare the 6 and the 7. The 6 is the smallest. So we take that and put it into a larger list. Next, we start with the first element in this list because there's nothing left in this list over here, the 7, and put it there. And finally, we only have one element in these two lists, the 9, so we're going to move it up to the larger list. Now on over to these two lists, which we're going to merge here. We start at the first element in each of the two lists. The 3 is the smallest, so we take that. Then the 4. And then the 5. Finally, we're going to merge these two lists into our final sorted list. So we compare the first element of these two lists, the 3 is the smallest, so we take that. Then we compare the first element in these two lists, the 4 is the smallest, so we take that. Then the first element in these two lists, the 5 is the smallest, so we take that. Then this list is empty, so we take the first element in this other list, which is 6, then the first element in this list, which is 7, and the first element in this list, which is 9. Now we've got one list of size 6, and it is sorted. In the video description, I'll include a link to source code for the merge sort in different programming languages. For more information, you can also check out the Wikipedia entry. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and leave me a comment. To see the next video on the curriculum, please click the video link in the lower left-hand corner of the screen. To see the entire curriculum, please click on the link in the lower right-hand corner of the screen. And click on the picture to subscribe to the channel so you can get all the latest content.